Faust, Daniel Webster, Johnny the Fiddler. What do all these people have in common? They all made a deal with the devil. In each case, the story is the same. The devil approaches them and offers an immediate fulfillment of their wildest dreams. And in return, all they have to do is give their soul to him when they die. Doesn't sound like a good deal, does it? Jesus said it best, what profits a person if they gain the whole world and lose their soul in the process? Jesus himself experienced this negotiation with the devil in today's gospel reading for this first Sunday of Lent. And in this experience, we can find a crucial lesson when it comes to dealing with all of life's temptations. The scriptures tell us that Jesus resisted the temptations by resisting the shortcuts and the easier way out. The important question is, can we do the same? How often do we offer the easier way and ultimately succumb to life's many temptations? The temptations of Jesus at first seem harmless, but then again, Jesus saw beneath the devil's tricks and saw them for what they really were. Turning stones into bread and jumping off the parapet of the temple and being rescued by angels would draw a crowd. But Jesus didn't come to draw a crowd. He came to convert a crowd. I wonder if we have really understood this, how many times are we tempted to give in when faced with a more attractive offer or the easier path? How many times are we tempted to give up or give in because we are just weary and lack the strength and courage that is needed at the moment? The question is, how do we handle the day-to-day -day temptations that plague us in this life? Do we rely on human strength to get us through it all? Or are we more resilient and turn to God for the energy and courage that we need to overcome and move on? As we stand at the foot of the cross, God invites us to trust the power of his love to draw a lost world to him.